What's up? I'm Gabe, and it seems like you might need some help setting up the semantic layer integration in Hex. Semantic models standardize how your organization works with data, making it simpler for everyone to self-serve. Instead of teams trading the same metrics again and again, the data team defines them once, allowing everyone to use standardized metrics and business logic across their projects. Now I know you're excited to get this set up, so let's not waste any more time and actually just jump right into it. First thing we need to do is head to the settings page and look for data sources. Here, we see a new data model section that will host all of our cemented models. Adding a new model will open up the model configuration screen, which is gonna ask us for the name of our model, a description, which I suggest you make fairly detailed since it's gonna be visible to users browsing through this content, the data connection, and keep in mind that each model is linked to a single data connection, the type of spec we're using, which can be LookML, metric flow, or cube. And lastly, we'll need to generate an API token, which helps us set up a GitHub action. Bringing us to the next page. This is the API token that we just generated, and I suggest you save this somewhere safe, since this is the one and only time Hex will show it to you. Just below that is a script that does all the heavy lifting for us, and let's Hex ingest the semantic specs from your GitHub repository. So that means our next step is to set this up in GitHub. Now, at this point, I'm gonna assume that you already have a repository set up that hosts all of your semantic model files. If not, I've left some links in the description that shows you how to upload files and folders to GitHub. All we need to do to set this up is to add our API token as a secret, and then we need to add the generated file. In the settings page for this repository, we can look for secrets and variables, go to actions, and then head down to repository secrets. This is where we wanna add our API token and the naming here is very important and any changes rolls out in an error kinda of like this. Back in the repository, we're gonna create a new folder named .github workflows and a file named hex semantic models sync.yaml. This is where we're gonna paste in the script that hex has generously generated for us. Now that I'm done with this, I'll commit my changes and every time I merge in new code, it will automatically trigger the event that sends the content of my repo to Hex. And if you want, you can even track this entire process in the Actions tab, which shows each step GitHub takes to ingest our models into Hex. If anything goes wrong, you'll see the error details here, and I've included a documentation link that walks through common issues. All right, so back in Hex, it looks like our model has been successfully added and we can even see when it was last updated. I can head to the data browser page to start using these models in Hex. Looking through our model, I see all of the available data sets and if I open one of these up, I can see all of our measures and dimensions. Hex also discovers joinable data sets automatically so you can do less modeling work overall. From here, I can jump into an exploration and start analyzing my data with all the semantic concepts I've set up. All right, and there you go. You have successfully ingested a semantic model from an external source into Hex. Give yourself a pat on the back, man. Congratulations. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments, and I will see you guys. I'll see you guys. It might be the next video. It might be the last video. You might see me at your house. <laughs>